Hi, I'm Ron Epstein, co-owner of Home Theater Forum, and welcome to my home theater. And welcome to part two of our video looking at Logitech's Harmony Link. This is the device that will turn your iPad, iPhone, iPod Touch, or portable Android device into the smartest remote in your house. Now, I hope you were watching part one of our video because it was there that I showed you how to take your individual home theater components, go to Logitech's online website, enter all the information, set up activities, and sync it to your Harmony link. Here is our Harmony link. I've placed it uh, uh, in front of my TV. You can see by the green light that it's picked up our uh, Wi-Fi, and the unit is now synced. Now, just in case you don't uh, have the ability of placing the Harmony Link out in the open. You need to put it inside a cabinet. Uh, Logitech has provided in the box a mini IR blaster. Now we've already uh, downloaded the Harmony Link application uh, to my iPad. The Harmony Link application is uh, what turns your iPad, iPhone, iPod Touch, or Android device into a remote. The first time you launch the Harmony Link device, it's going to ask you for your username and password, but you're only going to need to provide that once. So let's uh, launch the Harmony Link application, and as you can see, staring before you is this beautiful programming guide. And this is the real cell of the product. It's this beautiful programming guide um, that you have on your iPad. As I slide my finger across the bottom of the guide, you see these thumbnail images that give you a capsulized view of all the programming that is currently playing across your cable or satellite system. But with the hundreds of channels that are available on your cable or satellite system, you're going to need to find a means of effectively filtering out that content so that the programming guide only displays the programming that you are interested in. Logitech has made that easy. Across the top of their programming guide, they've created filters for you. Uh, for instance, right now I've selected only HD programming. Uh, you can also see individual tabs here. So if, if I select, uh, say, children's, for instance, it's only going to display children's programming. If I select movies, it's only going to show movies. If I select sports, it's only going to select uh, sports shows. Same thing uh, for, for news. And to take this one step further, if you have a favorite show or a favorite channel, you can make them your favorites. Uh, suppose you like the show State of the Union. You just press the star button, it's made it a favorite show. If you like visiting CNN HD, you select the little star here. Now that has become a favorite channel. And that's a, uh, an effective uh, filter process for you because once you go to favorites, and I'm going to move the camera down here, you can see that our favorite TV shows and our favorite channels appear at the top of the programming listing queue. The programming guide provides you with a detailed look of any show you're interested in watching. Uh, in this case, uh, I'm looking at Megamind. It's on HBO, uh, channel 901 on my system. The, it's on between 11.30 and 1.05 p.m., and there's 33 minutes remaining in the programming. Um, now, if I want to watch this show, it's as easy as clicking Watch Now. And as you can see, my TV set is being turned on, my uh, receiver is being turned on, my TiVo is being turned on, and I'm going directly to the channel that Megamind is playing on. Okay, this is where things get fun. We've just selected uh, Watch TV as our activity. And as you can see here on the side of the programming guide application, you've got a remote control that corresponds to your cable top box, which in this case happens to be a TiVo unit. So with this, um, with this little remote uh, sidebar, we can uh, change the channels. We can, uh, just by sliding our finger, raise the volume. I can lower the volume and watch this. If I slide the remote out a little further, now we have access to more functions of our TiVo unit. For instance, I can uh, access the programming guide, which just came up on our display, or I can, um, by pushing this button, access TiVo's main screen which just came up on our display. 
I also have the uh, functions of, uh, of, of skimming forward or skimming backwards or even pausing a uh, TV or uh, even by selecting this button I can record whatever is on my TiVo. Now we slide this out even further and there are advanced controls that I think are more catered to the more experienced user. Um, and that's the functionality, that's the remote functionality that you have on your iPad. Um, if you want to change activity, suppose you're watching TV and suddenly you want to watch a Blu-ray movie. Well, you press this button here, okay, and it gives you a choice of other activities um, that you can do. We're going to select Watch Blu-ray. And as you can see here, our TV now switches to the proper HDMI input. Our receiver switches to the proper HDMI input, and it is displaying my Oppo Blu-ray player. The Harmony Link also turns your iPhone or Android device into a smart remote. This is the Harmony Link application on my iPhone, also available for the iPod Touch and portable Android device. This is the home screen, and you can see all the activities laid out across it. We have Watch TV, Watch Blu-ray, Watch HD DVD, and so on. I'm going to select Watch TV, and I don't know if you can hear it, but my television just clicked on. My receiver powered on, as uh, also did my TiVo box. Um, in a moment, you're going to hear my TV playing in the background. And uh, just waiting for this to start up here. There we go. I'm going to lower the volume a little bit on the uh, television. And these are our controls that are related to my uh, TiVo device. Uh, we've got the uh, channel plus and minus, the volume control, the skip forward, skip back, play, record. Uh, there are additional uh, buttons here and uh, one of the neat things that you can do on this application that you can't do on the iPad app is actually edit the buttons. You can delete buttons uh, to slim down the remote control to only the buttons that you really need. I don't think you can rearrange the buttons, at least I wasn't able to. Um, the only thing that's missing from this application is the programming guide. I believe Logitech felt that this device was too small to effectively um, display the programming guide, so they omitted it uh, from the uh, application. Um, so that's the... Uh, let me, let me turn the uh, TV off. That's the uh, Harmony Link application for the iPhone, iPod Touch, and portable Android device. So the big question is, if you're looking for an all-in-one remote to control your entire home theater system, do you go with something like the Harmony One or the Harmony 1100, which uses hard buttons? Or do you go with the Harmony Link, which integrates itself with the iPad, iPhone, iPod Touch, or Android device? Well, there's something to be said for having a small hard button device on your coffee table that you can just grab and use. You don't have to power it up. It's got a nice feel in the hand. Um, there is nothing wrong with that. But, you know, it's not a big leap forward going with the Harmony Link, which integrates itself with something like the iPad. And if there's something that the iPad and the iPhone has taught all of us, is to move away from hard button devices like this and use touchscreen devices like this. And I really enjoy the fact that I can just take my finger and touch it on buttons and watch things happen as a result. And the great thing about the Harmony Link on the iPad is that you've got this great programming guide and in addition you can multitask you can sit with the iPad on your lap you can uh, browse the internet you can read your email you can even close the Harmony Link app or even reboot your device and the next time you launch Harmony Link everything is exactly the way as you left it I, I really do prefer the Harmony Link for the iPad and the iPhone over using uh, a device like this. You can see my full review on hometheaterforum.com. Uh, so that's the end of the video. I thank you very much for watching. My name is Ron Epstein, co-owner of Home Theater Forum, and thank you for spending time with me today.